I'm really not the demon god's lackey chapter 231, he had expected it. Flames are spreading in the forest, the people of the tribe are about to be killed, and another destruction class dream beast has already arrived. Tauruisi is isolated and helpless, with enemies on all sides. She gritted her teeth and flashed in the direction of her tribe. First, save the whole people. The fire raged rapidly in the forest, and the magma brought from the ground seemed to have devastating force and swept through T-Cut. High Priest A female elf spotted her and shouted at her. Her expression was flustered, and there was a trace of fear in her eyes, but when she saw her appear, hope and dependence naturally appeared in her eyes. Backslash Mom This female elf is also accompanied by her child. This child is already 15 years old, but according to the elf's growth cycle, it is only a 6 or 7 year old child who is also very immature in appearance. Of course, even by human standards, he is still just a child. At this moment, he was holding his mother and crying, tears kept falling, and there were bruises on his legs. He should have fallen down in a panic. The female elf hurriedly squeezed out a soft smile to coax her child. Backslash the high priest is here. High priest, what should we do now? Ah, that dream beast is here. Run. More people found her and cast their hopeful glances, and the calls for help were still endless. The male elves who stayed here organized spontaneously to maintain order and used basic spells to extinguish fires, but this is getting more and more. The bigger the flames drove them back in a blink of an eye. The mages, warriors, and archers in the family were all taken to an ambush on the other side of the formation. The refuge here was just ordinary elves. Although there is a defensive circle around it, the defensive circle can only withstand a few destruction level attacks. If it is just an underground rambler, there is no problem at all, and it will be enough to defend for a while. Calm down. Don't panic. Dora strikes the ground with power and power to let the sound reach every tribe's ears, soothing their minds with magic techniques, and said in a deep voice, There is a formation. These will be blocked temporarily. You go at the altar. The elders will make arrangements. There is a teleportation formation in the altar, which can directly teleport people to New Orgene. At the same time, it is tantamount to giving up this piece of forest. This is the last resort, but the teleportation array can only send away less than 30% of the people. Doris called back the people lying in ambush on the other side. Now that the underground rambler has noticed it, the trap has no meaning. Let those who can fight in the family stay, at least one of them should be quickly solved. The problem is that there is. RBZ Doris even has a hunch, definitely more than these two, there may be more, more, this is no longer a destruction level dream invasion. How much is the difference between the destruction class dream beasts that live in groups and the god class? If this continues, the situation will decline in a worse and worse direction. This is a situation that has never happened before. The Sway Dreamland is still expanding, and the force that has been preventing the invasion of Dreamland seems to have been weakened a lot. Backslash in a place I didn't foresee, something terrible must have happened to Dora secretly. She has lived for more than a thousand years, and even as a longevity species, she already belongs to the category of elders. During this period of working for many years, she has been serving as the high priest of the family since she was an adult, protecting the family and its territory, that is, this forest. Far away from the man-made giant city New Orjean, all kinds of extraordinary races that survived from ancient times are hiding in their respective settlements, and they are declining. Only merchants and dangerous criminals will enter New Orjean to contact humans. Just fighting against the invasion of the Dream Beast in the Dreamland Rift Court has already made them exhausted. The same is true for Doris's Iris family. 
The elves are no longer the battlefields of those brave and good wars in the prosperous ancient kingdom at that time. In these long years, they are in a corner, except for facing Mingxing, there is basically no other threat. The WRB survived the disaster, and they are not the offspring of individuals with powerful power. Therefore, ordinary individuals basically have no power to buying chickens. This is also the reason why Doris needs to seek the help of the Lady Silver who has blessed them in the legend. Backslash wait, Miss Silver. Doris suddenly woke up. She had asked for help. In New Jin's bookstore, where the silver dream atmosphere descended, she met Ms. Bai Yin's family, who looked very kind bookstore owner. When she asked the other party to help the Iris family regain glory and gain the love of Miss Silver, the other party sold her 30 books called I Seal. I also said that this is to facilitate his preliminary preparations for his future work. I hope her people can take a look first. Doris once perceives backslash resistance in that book. Backslash Dreamland After careful study of such information, it was confirmed that it was related to the rune system. She knows that that rune has powerful magic power, but at the same time, it also has a fixed learning threshold. In the past few months, only a part of the people who have the talent to resonate with the ether can read and learn the rune system and there are fewer than a hundred people. But the current situation. But Dora suddenly had a new idea. Did she keep walking into a misunderstanding? The rune is not actually waiting for everyone to learn to wait for the help of Miss Silver's family, but it is the method given for this crisis. He has long expected it. Tao. Ress remembered the mysterious smile of the young bookstore owner, and she suddenly felt a sense of relief in her heart. Doris called the panicked tribesman. Very trusting, immediately stopped and looked at her. She looked around, first. I once brought you a gift from Miss Silver's family members. That is the will of Miss Silver and the key to our fight against this crisis. You have learned the name in the book. Old Seal. People with runes immediately draw on themselves and others. Boom. The defensive enchantment is crumbling, and the ground keeps shaking. While being scared, the elves acted according to Doris's orders, and almost half of the elves were painted backslash old seals. After that, in the desperate eyes of everyone, the barrier burst, and two underground walkers opened their mouths and rushed in. One of them was stopped by Doris and the soldiers, but the other took the opportunity to get into the ground. The elves huddled together and pushed and shoved. The female elves brought the child and fell to the ground. The child started to cry. Roar. The female elf raised her head dully, watching the huge worm that broke out of the ground not far in front of her and opened its mouth parts full of sharp teeth towards the child below. The female elf rushed over to hug the child, closed her eyes tightly, and prepared for death. But after a long time, when the dizzy consciousness returned, she did not feel the pain she imagined. The female elf opened her eyes blankly, but saw that the worm paused not far above her, her mouth part squirmed, and she could almost feel the warm and fishy wind blowing on her face, but did not go any further, and even stepped back as if she was a little afraid retire. Note, if there is any other audiobook you want to listen, please do recommend in the comment section. Chapter 232, God Said, On, Third More The huge figure of the underground walker stayed above the mother and child, and the shadow cast by it was extremely oppressive. Its open mouthparts are still flowing acid with a scorching smell, and it keeps falling on the ground in front of it, scornfully corroding large holes. But it didn't go any further. On the contrary, its tentacles hesitated in place as if they were a little cowering, as if they had encountered something that made it very scared, disgusting, or tricky. And at this moment when it hesitated, the underground rambler dragged next to him was stabbed to death by Tao Ruisi with countless giant ground thorns like an earthworm. 
After the worm let out the last piercing roar, a frantic twist and twitch, the raised head finally crashed to the ground. After losing its vitality, the remaining magma stored in the worm's broken stomach pouch leaked out, and the golden red gleaming in the darkness was mixed with acid that seemed to have an igniting effect, which further contributed to the fire. But now Tao Ruisi had no time to manage the fire. She hurried back to the enchantment, and at the same time squeezed a bow and set an arrow to shoot at the remaining underground rambler. Light arrow is like electricity, tracing a straight line in the air, hitting the worm's body and bursting open directly, tearing its shell apart. Aoichi the attention of the underground walker was immediately diverted, turned angrily and yelled at Doris, then went underground again. The female elf guarding the child watched the underground walker disappear into a large pit in front of her. She was taken aback for a moment, and then finally relaxed. Her lower son fell to the ground, tears bursting out of her eyes. She burst into tears, hugged her child tightly, and then hurriedly coaxed the child who was almost frightened. Doris put down her power and walked to the mother and son. The elves all around were blank and shocked at first, but as the first elf who had come to realize it, they shouted in excitement. It is the function of that rune. The old seal is protecting us. He pointed to the mysterious and weird pentagram mark painted on the female elf's clothes. Then the other elves also reacted, and they showed ecstasy expressions, like a disaster for the rest of my life like hugging each other. Some cried with joy and hid their faces. Some even knelt directly on the ground, praying feverishly to the altar behind, raising their arms and saying loudly, Praise Miss Silver. The glory of the iris is in the past. Today is. Forever. The face was once very chaotic. Tao Ruisi listened to the joyous and noisy discussions of the people and looked at the traces outlined by the underground walkers cruising under the surrounding soil, and she barely breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. The old seal has come into effect. At that moment, it was anticipated that the Iris family would encounter a fatal crisis. That's why I sold the books to her and asked her to let the people study. Ms. Bayeen is always taking care of her appointments. But then again, the favored man is really strong. The little hunter is true, and he can be called omnipotent and omnipotent. The four-character evaluation. Tao Ruisi felt a trace of envy in her heart. Ms. Bayeen must value him very much. Maybe she is the one who is close and trustworthy, but she doesn't know what his true identity is. She shook her head, retracted her mind, and knocked on the right to make the people retreat and gather together as much as possible. Because there are still a large number of people who have not painted the old seals, it is necessary to mix the paintings with those who have not painted so that people who have not painted can be taken care of as much as possible. Afterwards, Tao Ruisi took a breath and walked outside again. The slightly tired look was again replaced by tight concentration. Although she is now the end of the crossbow, a destruction-level dream beast opponent is not easy to deal with, not to mention that she is not particularly good at fighting, mainly relying on prophecy to preempt the enemy. But she can't let down the people behind her who trust her, even if she uses her best to usher in the end of death, that is her destiny as a high priest. Come on. I hope that after my death, my soul can enter the dreamland of the Silver Goddess. Tao Ruisi's beautiful face illuminated by the firelight with a decisive smile, she reinserted her weight on the ground, and the seeds hidden in the ground under the ground all around grew up, besieging and strangling the underground walker. The ground was rumbling, and the body of a tossing worm was looming among the collapsed mountains. The entire forest seemed to rise up to form a tsunami-destroying scene. Tao Ruisi's face gradually paled, panting, hands began to tremble. As long as these underground walkers don't attack her people, then she has more room to play. In the battle between destruction levels, sometimes the most scrupulous thing is to accidentally hurt the innocent. Therefore, the prerequisite for the battle between Wilde and Joseph was that Wilde was led into the ruins on a certain hill, so that only two people especially Joseph could give full play to his strength. 
but now, the situation is still not optimistic. These seeds are not simple. They are the seeds of the sacred tree in the fairy kingdom that has been buried for thousands of years. They are extremely tough. The driving force for growth is the vitality directly endowed by her, and the constant loss of vitality is making she became weak. But the picture of prophecy unfolded in front of him again. The underground dream rift, as expected, has expanded again. Doris's premonition is correct. These underground walkers are gregarious dream beasts. But this time, two of them came out directly, staggering each other like a dragon, breaking through the soil layer and drilling upwards. In less than a minute, these two underground walkers will also reach the ground and join the battlefield. Then one by one. It's really over. Doris mutters weakly. The hand-holding Quan Quan has been released. The vitality is constantly passing away, and it has almost become those sacred trees vying for their vitality, and she there is no way to stop it. Fortunately, the sacred tree has fully developed. The underground walker is gone. After being strangled to death, there was only a shriveled skin that was almost sucked dry. After so long, the people of the tribe should have almost moved, Tauruisi's eyes turned black, only to see the two worms that came afterwards also broke the ground, her vision sank, and the whole person fell down. At this moment, she suddenly felt that someone was holding her fallen waist behind her back, and the whole person was also leaning against someone. The elf high priest opened his eyes blankly, and some familiar young voices rang in his ears. Um, it's too bad to have a nightmare, let me change it for you. Chapter 233, God Said, Part 2, Fourth More Doris actually didn't hear exactly what the man behind her said. His voice seemed to be speaking under the water across a layer of water. It was very distorted and blurred. No words were clear, even a little erratic. Only the tone is vaguely familiar. But it was the familiar feeling that made Doris' intuition as a prophet play a role. In this short moment, Doris went back to the dim bookstore in a daze, with the dim light in front of him, and the black-haired and dark-eyed young man was sitting behind the counter with his hands folded against his chin, smiling and talking. Welcome. That's right, it's exactly the same. Lord Favored? Doris's heart was shocked. Why did Lord Favored come here? But she didn't even notice the occurrence of the one-wire bow omen. There is no abnormal ether fluctuation at all. According to her senses, there is no one behind her at this moment. Is this an illusion that she had before she died? But the touch from her waist and behind is extremely real, as if there is really an invisible person behind her supporting her with absolute strength. No, wait dash. Tao Ruisi finally came over, recovered, panted and reheld the power, relying on the power of the scepter to regain the down state and the consciousness returned to reality. Her pupils tightened, remembering that when she was still in the forest waiting for the dream crack to open, she once felt a gaze staring at her. At the time, she speculated that it might be a mysterious and powerful existence. Now it seems that this is the servant of the Silver Lady? Has he been on the sidelines since just now? Not only did he give her the solution to the crisis in advance, he even came to help them who were at the end of the road. In the test, the silver female soil has seen their inner piety and has hidden them again. But this method of coming without a trace and the magical old seal. How strong is the Lord blessed, Tao Ruisi's thoughts are flying in this second. But in the vision that gradually regained clarity, the two underground walkers who had rushed over were reminding her that this is not the time to think about it. Facing a powerful enemy. She was subconsciously preparing to take power and fight again, but the young man behind did not let go, but pulled her back and commented in a very disgusting tone. This bug is so ugly, can't it be done better? This time, Doris heard it more clearly and understood the meaning of this sentence. But hearing it made her even more confused. She feels ugly, but she can understand it completely, 
but she can't do a good job with what is called zero. She even wants to ask, is it okay? Good job. Isn't it? They are not creators. How can they determine the appearance of this dream beast? Then Boss Lin let her know what Zero is called. Do a good job. The rescue scene suddenly appeared. Naturally, it was Lin Jia who had been watching a movie next to him observing secretly with relish. Although the picture of this movie is a bit distorted, it seems like a little fog, and I can't hear people clearly. He only wanted to see what the plot of this dream was, and then it reflected what Doris had thoughts in her subconscious mind. Started to analyze well. For example, that eldest son may represent the fear in Doris. Another example is the appearance of the elf family, which represents her inner sense of responsibility for the family. Another example is that later she let someone draw some ghost symbols, and then she blessed her people. This very probability represents the books that Lin Jia sold to her. This means that his family regarded his books as a revival. To count on. Lin Jia was happy to think that his book was a ghost in Doris' dream. But when the mother and child were almost eaten by the insects, Lin Jia couldn't stand it anymore and almost had to use his hands to modify the dream, but after all, the ghost symbol took effect. Later, seeing Tao Ruisi as pale and weak as a candle in the wind, but still holding on, Lin Jia felt that he had to take action. If a customer who bought 30 books died in front of him, his conscience would be disturbed. Although it was just a dream, but for Lin Jia, it was so real, so real that it made him feel uncomfortable. Since it feels uncomfortable, it is in the dream anyway, why do you feel wronged? 2. It is better to just modify it for others. It's fine to become a cat. Lin Jia said so. Wherever he thought of, the ether re-deconstructed the dream. The two fish leaped up, worms with grimly open mouths in midair, huge like a mountain-like figure, just in full view. Puff. The ground turned into two black kittens. Patter. Falling to the ground, the milk meowed. The elves who were in a panic over there, running away and screaming suddenly became quiet and watched this scene dumbfoundedly. The elves were all stupid. The two cats. Impossible, won't they? This is beyond the cognitive scope of normal people. Two destruction class dream beasts, as big as a mountain, suddenly turned into a little milk cat. This must be understandable. Lin Jia nodded in satisfaction, and Tao Ruisi, who was in a panic behind her, was all but meow meow, her face dull. She clearly knows that this is not an illusion, nor a change in form, but a real thing. From a worm to a cat, the entire life form is deconstructed and reorganized in an instant, and becomes a brand new existence. S. The authority that can only be possessed by the Creator. It is like treating a toy made out of mud by yourself like, if you feel ugly and want to look better, you just squeeze it again and create a new one again. Tao Ruisi only felt a terrifying chill suddenly surged from her back. This was not something that ordinary transcendence could do. Destroy grades were not good, nor God's grades. Only God. Only God can arbitrarily modify his creation. But it's not over yet. Lin Jia looked around, then said, Dash. The fire is extinguished. So the monstrous fire that almost covered the entire forest suddenly disappeared, leaving only a mess. The scorched and collapsed forests are already inaccessible. Lin Jia patted his head, feeling really stupid. Forget it. Wouldn't it be enough to just restore it to the original state? Doris listened to the disgusting voice coming from next to her, and then she saw with all her face that everything seemed to go back in time, back to the way it was before everything began. Even the underground dreams with cracked eyes seemed to have never, never appeared the same. Suddenly like a dream. Chapter 234, Shepherd of the Stars In the forest, there was no sound. 
The expressions of all the elves were surprisingly the same. They all stared blankly at the same place, staring blankly at the unreal picture in front of them like a dream. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? These three ultimate philosophical questions suddenly lingered in their minds, and all the common sense of the past is almost collapsed in an instant. Two devastating dream beasts have already turned into a weak, helpless, and pitiful little milk cat, just sway forward on the ground not far away. The flames that ravaged the forest and almost destroyed everything disappeared out of nowhere in an instant. What's more terrifying is that the trees that lost their vitality later turned back to a lush appearance, and the land turned into a scorched earth ruin was refreshed to its original fertile appearance, and the surroundings seemed to be uncovered by a layer covering the original appearance. Everything just now is an illusion, but now it is real. It makes them suspect that the elves are born, and their cognition is completely confused. But it can't be an illusion that the wounds on their bodies are still there, and the old seals drawn on the clothes are still there. After a brief silence, there is a chaos and noise. What the is going on? Is Miss Silver coming? This is a miracle. Ha ha zero ha ha ha, the glory of the iris will last forever. Ha 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 ha, have you heard heard a voice? What sound? Yes. Yes. Just now, it seemed that an indescribable voice came from the direction of the high priest. It was very chaotic, unintelligible, like a person was talking, and it was like the voice of many people overlapping everything. I feel a headache when I want to understand, but I can't help but want to explore. It's terrible. Is this level of power? Is there a level shot? No, I'm afraid there will be more than that. Such words keep happening among these elves. The elders who were waiting at the altar were also startled. They walked out with blank faces and looked around, all suspecting that she was dreaming. Doris looked at the people who were talking about her with complex expressions. At this moment, she could not feel in. The entity of the media exists. It seems that she left after doing the things that should be done, and she is unwilling to communicate with her more. She is very self-willed. But just like at the beginning, she could still feel a look on her. This let her know that the mysterious bookstore owner did not leave. God said, there must be light. Then there is light in the world. Suddenly these two words were in Dora's heart. She looked at the forest in front of her that was restored to the past, and heard the sounds of birds and insects and the rustling of leaves in the forest. She felt the night breeze that seemed to still carry a scorching flame, and her heart could not be calm for a long time. Is this a miracle? Is he really a dependent of Miss Silver? When Doris visited Lin Jian at the bookstore for the first time, she had such suspicions. But the last time, I questioned the authenticity of the other party, thinking whether this guy is a fake and shoddy product. And now, she even felt that Lin Jia would not be hidden in history and exist in the same position as Ms. Bain. Tao Ruisi hesitated down, looked where her gaze was, and opened her mouth to say thank you. However, an elder who came over interrupted. The feeling of being watched also dissipated, and this time seemed to have really gone. High Priest, what is going on? As soon as this question was raised, the other elves were quiet. WRB2, they also want to know what is going on. Doris took a deep breath, sorted out her thoughts, and picked up her prestige as a high priest and said, The great Miss Silver, who controls frost and snow, lowered her dream to favor the person who was favored by the stars. She suppressed all other thoughts in her heart. No matter what level of existence the opponent is, since he is willing to save them, it means that he is willing to help the Iris family. This is the only way for her family to survive. It must be grasped firmly. 
In the past, he handed the old seal of resisting dreams into our hands, just as the original witches built high walls to block dreams, and the old seals also protect us from dreams. The Injury of the Beast The elves listened carefully and felt a sense of identity from the words of the high priest, as if they felt the will of the original witch. Yes, all this is like a repeat of history. In the past, the witches isolated their dreams from the high wall, but now, the dream beast is expelled by the old seal. Now that he has come to our side and heard this, the elves are in a commotion. An elder asked tremblingly, Are those just now the power of the beloved lord? Tauris paused, and was suddenly surprised to find that in her own right, the iris exuded a faint light, and above the flower vine, Blooming got a second flower. The flowers swayed in the wind, as if Ms. Bayeen was agreeing and encouraging her. The elves were already ecstatic, watching this scene excitedly. Doris closes her eyes, Omen. When Gu Ming appeared, she could not help but say, It is him who killed the fire of disaster, made the light of vitality bless believers in all dimensions, and is in charge of all the keys to knowledge. The authority of time and space is in his hands, turning into a horse galloping across the universe. The gap between life and death and the gap between years. I didn't dare to know his name. He is not the patron of the stars, but the shepherd who has taken care of the stars in the past. As she chanted, all the shadows on the ground around them began to shake as if something was awakening. The exclamation of the elves one after another came and went. Priscilla underscore. Didn't you die? The elves who came out of the forest faced blankly, I don't know. I remember I should have died in battle, but I don't know how to return. Suddenly regained consciousness. That's great, it must be the favored man, he responded to the prayer of the high priest. Resurrected you. Doris opened her eyes, her eyes filled. Shock. The stars, the shepherd. I am afraid that only she knows what level the bookstore owner is up to buy this passage. The elven high priest looked at the people who had returned from the surroundings, and there was no way to think about the rationality of it. She was keenly aware of it, and if she continued thinking about it, maybe she would touch something that shouldn't be touched. The more you know, the more dangerous it is. So she showed a relieved smile, merged into her own people, and encouraged everyone's morale. WRB After a while, I will visit the bookstore again. I believe this time, I will be able to win Ms. Yin's approval. One but now, we need to regroup Doris and order everyone to perform their duties. When we returned to the height of the altar and looked back at the entire residence of the elf family, she stopped. The various shadows on the ground have stopped shaking, and the pitch black shadows slowly gathered into the appearance of strokes.wrb2. You are welcome. Early in the morning, Lin Jia got up from the bed, got out of the bed and stretched his waist, looking at the bright sunshine outside the window. I feel that my mood has improved all day. He touched his chin, smiled and murmured, Nightmare turns into a sweet dream. Doris should also be very happy. Chapter 235 Citrus Aroma Lin Jia wakes up early as usual and feels very happy because he has done a great deed. There is a way the plan of the day lies in the morning. If you have a nightmare at night and you will be in a bad mood when you wake up, then you will feel very unhappy all day. Doris is obviously because of the burden of the family, thinking about it day and night. If you have a dream, you will dream that your family is in danger, but you have not been able to save it. In this way a nightmare, it is bound to aggravate her inner anxiety, and she is not sure what bad consequences will be caused. This is a big customer in the future and cannot be slow. So Lin Jia just spent a little bit of it. There is nothing for now. The great use of ether makes this dream a beautiful dream. Okay, it's a dream that is a bit too self-beautifying, but at any rate it's a tragedy that turns out of anger. 
Maybe it has a comedic effect. However, this is not the point. The point is that there is a lingering fragrance in the rose hand. As a warm, kind and helpful person, he thinks it is worth it. Lin Jie simply washed up, walked into the kitchen humming a song, put on an apron, and prepared to cook breakfast for Moan and the new guest after a long absence. Since taking in Moan, he hasn't done it himself. After the housework, I rely on Moan, a fully automatic home helper. But Lin Jie's cooking skills that he has been single for many years are still very good. He put three poached eggs and three vegetable fried toasts on a small table in the kitchen, walked to Moan's room and knocked on the door, get up for breakfast. Lin Jie still pays great attention to cultivating Moan's male and female consciousness. Moan also didn't close the door from the beginning, and now he obediently locks the door every day, and also informs Lin Jie in advance when using the bathroom to avoid embarrassing things. It can be said to be very gratifying to Lin's father. Kacha. When the door opened, the little head that emerged cautiously did not belong to the three-no girl, but Primo with glasses and a rough twist. The little girl's face was still a little pale, she looked sick, she had a pair of plush slippers on her feet, and she was wearing a white girly nightdress that suit Lin. I've seen it all in Moan, and it was obviously given to her by the latter. Good morning. Lin Jie greeted with a friendly smile. Are you accustomed to sleeping? How are you getting along with Moan? I think you guys should get along well. Prima was a little cramped and said, Very well, everything is fine. She then stammered, Master Moan is also very nice and gentle. We are very, very good. Thank you for allowing me to contact Master Moan. This is the greatest honor in this life for Gu. Thank you. As WRB2 Prima talked, her tone became excited. Thinking of the close contact and conversation with Lord Moan this evening, she couldn't help touching her own heart, feeling that her excitement was not yet flat. This evening, she had learned that it turned out that Lord Moan had taken over the dream of Wapujasi, that is to say, she would be the successor of the original witch and also the priesthood of the moon. It was equivalent to Wapujisi. Myself. As the appointment attendee of Wapjizi, Prima is equivalent to the Christian seeing God on the spot. She was so happy that she fainted. She was even invited to enter Wapjizi's dreamland, the trembling deep in the soul, let her burst into tears, kneel down and re-swear allegiance to Moan. When Prima asked about Lin Jia's identity, M. Owen's answer shocked her beyond words. Dash one inch. He is the father who gave me knowledge, strength, and new life. She looked at the very ordinary young man in front of her cautiously and never expected that he would be such a big identity. The original witch. Father. Prima has a wealth of occult knowledge and understands that this is not a father in the usual sense, but probably refers to a concept. As we all know, the original witch was born in Prima Chaos. Her face was flushed and her breathing became short. It is hard to imagine that she might come into contact with this level of existence. It was so exciting. Lin Jia looked in front of her as if she was in love. Such a girl with a black line on her face. Why do you always feel that something is wrong with this? And this child is too polite. Do you have to use honorifics to peers? Where is gentle? What happened to you this evening? Plus the following sentence. It's a confession already, right? Good fellow. M.O.N. is really grown up. Lin Jia seems to feel an orange scented aroma quietly permeating. You're welcome. You're welcome. What can Lin Jia say? He is not a feudal parent. He looks at Prima in front of him kindly like an elder and reaches out his hand to touch her head. It's good for you to be happy. From now on, everyone is your own, Prima, feeling this old father's gaze and admiration in their hearts. That's right, I am a family member of Lord Moan and logically equivalent to his descendants, so I am also equivalent to Boss Lin's direct line. I am not wrong. No wonder Wapjizi's contract ring is in Boss Lin's hands. 
It turned out to be one family. Prima nodded obediently. Lin Jia withdrew his hand, looked in the room, but didn't see the figure of the three no girl, and asked, Where's Moan? Prima immediately replied, Master Moan went to the book cafe next door to make preparations. She said that the book cafe has not been opened these days, so I should clean it up and prepare to open. The boss makes money. Lin Jia was stunned, and then deeply moved by what kind of intimate little padded jacket, that's it. He asked Prima to go to the kitchen to fetch Hayasaka and give it to Moan next door. Originally, Lin Jia planned to go by himself, but now that it is so, it's okay to let Prima and Moan cultivate and cultivate their relationship. Lin Jia went downstairs after eating zero, and the first thing was to check the cat litter. WRB Meow 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 Xiao Bai, who was not awake, was picked up, and his four small paws fluttered randomly. Lin Jia held the cat in his arms and touched it. Xiao Bai was sober for an instant, quieted down and shivered, stiffly letting it be touched, and even rubbing together. He opened the door of the bookstore, breathed in the fresh air outside for a while, and returned to guard the counter to start a day of business. Ma went to the district, asked for a blank notebook and pen from Lin Jie, sat next to study Compendium of Materia Medica, nodded from time to time, deputy addiction. But after a while, she frowned, she fell into deep thought, and looked at Lin Jie from time to time, as if she had something to say. Lin Jie noticed her gaze, raised her head and smiled, saying, Is there any problem? Ma's eyes lit up, she nodded, and sat down in a precarious manner. Yes, I saw in the book that dragons are also medicines, but there seems to be no dragons in this era. Chapter 236 Lishurgian Skin, Third Shift Long? Lin Jia smile froze, what the hell? Dragon is also medicine. Is Lishurgian so wild? Or that I gave the wrong book, not Compendium of Materia Medica, but the Dungeon and Dragon Rule Book. W.R.B., or this little girl wanted to be with is he kidding? Don't wait. Lin Jia looked at Prima who blinked in front of him. The pure and curiosity eyes were so beautiful. The desire for knowledge is not deceiving, so she is definitely not playing a prank. Considering the cultural differences between the planes, she must have misunderstood something. Lin Jia maintained his somewhat stiff smile and started searching in two is for the relevant content of Compendium of Materia Medica a long time ago. Compendium of Materia Medica is a free book he read when he was in high school and his impression is a bit vague today, but the only thing he is commendable is his memory, he still remembers something. Then he smoked a corner of his mouth and found that there really was. Dragon this flavor medicine. That's all right. Lishurgian's path is really so wild. The book Compendium of Materia Medica is organized into categories. For example, a classification similar to the five elements is used to separate the water part, the fire part, and the stone part. Of course, it also includes the most important grass part. For example, in plants, there are subdivided grain parts, vegetable parts, fruit parts, etc., and in animals, insect parts, scale parts, etc. are subdivided. And this. Dragon. It belongs to the scales. But it is not the western dragon, nor the cathosaurus, of course, I don't know what Lishurgian thinks, but the bone fossils of some mammals, such as elephants, rhinos, horses, and so on. Lin Jia sighed a little, he was really a false alarm. After staying in another world for a long time, a dragon with wings popped out of his mind. Sure enough, it was just a difference in understanding. Lin Jia found the crux, but made it difficult again. What should he explain to this child? The conjecture about the ancient Chinese dragon may be the general term for all vertebrates by the ancients. He can make a long story, a large book and a special book, from the literature to the research example for three hours without stopping and then logically elicit this. Dragon refers to mammal fossils, 
but for people in this world, dragons are four-legged creatures with long horns on their heads, wings on the back, and tails behind them. No one has studied this stuff. It's hard to explain the principle. Backslash Mr. Lin? Prima waited for a long time without waiting for the answer and found that the youth in front of him seemed to be in a state of memory. Just like. Dragon. This word reminded him of something in the past. Prima thoughtfully. The ancient dragons are almost as old as the original witches. I think, in that chaotic era, Mr. Lin must have experienced a lot. Lin Jie, who was in deep thought, woke up and looked at Prima with some embarrassment. He coughed dryly and said, Sorry, just now I suddenly remembered the previous one. Lin Jie secretly said in his heart he must find a way to fool him. Who is Teacher Lin, the sacred hand of chicken soup, and the life mentor, shouldn't show timidity in front of the children, which damages his reliable image. Suddenly, Lin Jie raised his eyebrows, blinked, and slowed. Although he could not explain the principle, he did have a dragon fossil. The dragon heart fossil sent by Chili is still preserved. It's in his basement. After he absorbed those special powers in WRE, the heart collapsed and completely turned into stone. It's better to make mistakes. Anyway, it has become a stone. Even if it is really used as a powder and a soup to drink, it will have diarrhea at most and there will be no major problems. Besides, Prima specializes in pharmaceutical research and he certainly understands pharmacology better than him. It should not be messy. It will be useless at that time. He can say that Lin Jie might have coughed twice because of improper preservation. It is true that the real dragon has disappeared, but their fossil remains exist daily, and this part can be used as medicine. Prima sensed something in his tone and looked at him tentatively with expectant eyes. Lin Jie smiled slightly and said indifferently, Actually, I have a precious and rare dragon heart fossil. If you want to study it, I can give it to you. It just so happens that this thing is of no use at all except eating ashes in the basement. Thank you very much. I, I don't know how to repay you. I, if I can find the results of my research, and if you need it, I will definitely hand over the medicine. Prima blushed with excitement. Lin Jia found that this child usually looks very shy and introverted, but when it comes to pharmaceutical research, it will be very exciting. If he grows up, he will be a standard scientific madman. Lin Jia smiled and said, Then I will bother you in advance. W. Prima suddenly changed back to the mimosa mode, lowered her head, and shook her head. No, don't bother Lin Jia kindly said. Okay, the problem is solved. Let's continue reading. Take care of the injury. Investigate your sister's affairs. I will help you for the time being. Prima was stunned and then thanked again, holding the book and burying her completely flushed cheeks, taking a deep breath of the book's peculiar breath, and then continued reading after her mind calmed down. After a while, Prima raised her hand boldly. Lin Jie is very natural and authentic. Student Prima, please speak. Prima asked the question she had wanted to ask since reading this book. Using things like human skulls, placenta, and ashes to make medicine. Will there be other hidden dangers? She hesitated because this issue is very sensitive. It was as if he was questioning the other party for immorality. But Lin Jie behaved too kindly, and since the successor of Wapujis trusted him so much, Prima felt that she could choose or had to trust the other party. To trust wholeheartedly, you must fully present everything you have, and don't conceal the least. Dot? Backslash Lin Jie's eyes twitched. He was wrong. Li Shirjin's skin was real skin. Really have these? Something? He recalled carefully, and remembered what these things are in Compendium of Materia Medica. Tinling cover, human cell, or purple river cart, and the corpse burning ground are on the soil. 
They are all the medicines recorded in it, and they also write about the smell and the main illnesses. For example, Tianling covers the essence and nourishes the mind. It is actually a model of replenishing what to eat and what to eat in the form of shape. Lin Jie said in a serious and serious manner in the academic spirit of not understanding and not talking nonsense. If they are used as pharmaceutical materials and really have such an effect, then as long as the source is right, why not? But if they are not useful, just to satisfy curiosity or other improper desires, then they are definitely not desirable, understand? The most important thing is whether you have a clear mind and whether you can contribute to the world and develop better medicines to create your own value. Boss Lin returned to his old business and changed the topic earnestly. You have to understand that all values are fluid. These medicinal materials may be ordinary in themselves, but in your hands, they become priceless treasures. The gap between these is your current efforts. Prima nodded blankly, the confusion in her eyes disappeared. She understands. The mystery of mobility has given powerful power to the high status, and their flesh and bones will be in the flow, creating greater value. This is the contribution of the high status to the group. And they, Potion's teacher, that's the one who grabs power. Chapter 237, Cat Food Delivered to Your Door Prima feels that she understands thoroughly. Her worries are unnecessary, and even, she is actually too emotional. Real medicine research requires absolute concentration and reason. She should pay attention to these materials. How to use them to create more useful potions instead of being like a tourist wandering around in the scenic spot, asking questions about the historical story of a scenic spot. Although these raw materials sound and shocking, the pictures may be more weird, gloomy, and when they are taken down, but they are only medicinal materials. Even the owner of these things is more likely to have the selfless idea of creating value for the world. Donated his body, so strong and great. However, she is worried about the immorality of these medicinal materials. She does not know that this kind of thinking is truly disrespectful. Whether it is for contributors, researchers, or users, it is very disrespectful. This is disrespectful to pharmacy. Her vision and pattern are still too narrow. But the research of pharmacy needs a pious, pure, and broad-minded heart, and she needs more practice is not only the technique of pharmacy, but also the state of mind. Prima seemed to understand the good intentions of the young man before him at this moment. For a long time, she has been indulging in her own world, conducting closed research in her own small room, refusing to communicate with all outsiders, so low-key that not many people in the family even know her. Although she has achieved extremely high achievements in pharmacy as a result, even her sister Margaret has marveled at her talent. Praising her if she is willing to participate in the professional rating of the truth meeting, it will surprise young people who are self-proclaimed geniuses. But at the same time, she lacked a lot of experience in dealing with things, and she was too easily controlled by her own emotional emotions, and she was thinking wildly. This is what she needs to improve. Expansion of her calm focus on pharmaceutical research to other areas. WRE just needs to do it. Prima's eyes shone brightly and nodded vigorously, just like a chicken pecking at rice. Thank you for your teaching. I think I still have more shortcomings. There is still a long way to go in pharmaceutical research. Lin Jiet secretly relieved Zero. He muttered in his heart that he was fooled. He is really a husband this time. I would have chosen medical professional books if I knew it. The Compendium of Materia Medica is a classic, but there are also some unreliable places. It is not a problem to read it usually, and it is a bit misleading when it comes to another world. But presumably, under his guidance full of positive energy, the little girl in front of her should not be led crooked. If you have any questions, you must ask me in time. Lin Jia also unreasonably ordered. Prima nodded and saw the warm scene of Lin Jia continuing to tease the cat. 
When she saw Boss Lin rub the cat's head, she couldn't help showing the smile of a normal girl seeing cute things. But then, she remembered that this cat was the horrible existence that directly dismembered the dark elf stalker and swallowed it. The smile on her face gradually disappeared and her face became pale. If you replace the fat snow white cat in front of you with that horrible thing, the picture will not be warm, but horrible. Speaking of it, I seem to have forgotten to buy cat food. Xiao Bai won't be hungry if he has nothing to eat. What can I do? If there is cat food delivered here, it would be fine, alas. Lin Jia frowned, touched Xiao Bai's fat belly, and muttered in a low voice. In fact, he was really helpless. Nuo Jin hadn't produced the takeaway service yet, and it took him a while to get used to it. Habit not to mention online shopping. Now I want to buy a cat food, I am afraid I have to find out if there is a pet shop nearby, and rush to buy it. Every time at this time, he will miss a certain treasure. But Xiao Bai's fat and soft belly is full of fat at first glance. It should be able to last for a while. Eating normal bananas seems to be no problem. Looking thoughtfully at the white cat rolling around on the counter, Prima next to her heard the words, but her body slammed, and she hurriedly continued to read the book, pretending to have nothing to do, she didn't hear anything. Cat food for this horrible existence in front of me who doesn't know what it is, a panic level transcended with two mouthfuls is probably its backslash cat food. After that, Mr. Lin's words should mean that there are extraordinary people coming to the bookstore. Prima secretly thought, could it be that there were other assassins? Her uncle, that is, Jerome the individual must be unable to complete such things as attacking and kidnapping Margaret. His own power and connections in the family are completely crushed by his sister. F thinks there are probably some people behind him. In support, Jerome will definitely do something after discovering that the Dark Elf has lost contact. And since the panic level Dark Elf Stalker failed, he will definitely find someone who is at least better than that Dark Elf. With the power of these people, you might be able to find the Destroyer. However, Prima took a peek at Lin Jie, and it was useless if they came this time. With Mr. Lin here, the destruction grade must have come to die. The girl had already placed Lin Jie in her mind at the highest position in her cognition, the God Grade. However, it was not the second assassin that she had imagined to be the fierce assassin who stepped into the bookstore, but a polite, handsome old gentleman. Yes, Prima can use handsome to describe this elegant old man in suit and leather shoes. Well-organized meticulous blonde hair, with deep blue eyes as deep as the sea, looking at people as if forever affectionate money, believe this a guy, even at the banquet of those ladies and ladies, it also has the charm not to lose to young people. At the same time, he has a kind of scholarly. Concentrating on the calm temperament and the high-positioned aura. The combination of two almost contradictory traits makes him also a little mysterious. It is not difficult to imagine that when this guy was young, he must be a who was very popular with women. But at this moment, when he walked into the bookstore, his expression was perturbed, his movements were cautious, his eyes pretending to be calm. It was like a timid person plucking up the courage to enter a haunted house, full of resistance but having to enter. It is completely inconsistent with his overall temperament, and it makes people want to laugh. Prima was stunned for an instant, and then suddenly recognized the identity of the old man in front of him. It was also one of the few people she had to remember by her sister Margaret, because there was a lot of it maybe her immediate boss. The vice president of the Truth Society, Andrew. Then Prima looked at Andrew and Xiao Bai. Suddenly her expression changed. Could it be that this is the cat food delivered to the door? Lin Jie raised his head and smiled. Welcome. Prima always feels that she can see a lot of malice in her smile. After Andrew came in, he walked straight to the counter, took a deep breath. First, you should know why I came. I'm very sorry for the previous thing. Hold on. Lin Jia's smile remained unchanged, but there was a trace of confusion in his eyes. 
Forgive me for my ignorance, I don't seem to have seen you before Dash. I wonder if you are. Andrew. Chapter 238, Send the Bell, with Cat, Cat, Insect, and Animal Design. After making enough mental preparations for himself, Andrew finally decided to find the mysterious and powerful bookstore owner. Although he knows this he must come to visit. But as a hostile attitude towards bookstores and several consecutive countermeasures against bookstores with impure goals, even the vice president of the Truth Society, who provoked fringe actions. Ander had to say in his heart that there was no turmoil and worry, it must be false. Whenever he thought of his past actions, he would be scared into a cold sweat. With the strength that the bookstore owner named Lin Jia has shown so far, wanting him to die is just a matter of thought. Even though he now generally knew that his previous impulsive and reckless actions were actually controlled and deceived by some means by Jerome. Andrew felt that because of this, Lin Jia never cared about his repeated offenses because all of this was done under the circumstances of his mental impact rather than his own will. But before he had a face-to-face -face dialogue with the owner of the bookstore, these were all his own guesses. Little Roll I forgot. I plan to settle accounts after the autumn. Isn't it time to take the initiative to get together to find death? But Ander told me there was no way. No matter how entangled and hesitant he is, now he has almost no real power, and the issuance of any order has to go through layers of review and is greatly restrained. And as long as Jerome, the inner ghost, moves his hands and feet during the audit and controls some people with his mentally influencing potions, he can easily block all of Ander Chang's plans. Andrew suspected that Diamond, the other vice president who was equal to him, had also been affected. After all, Jerome's ambition was not small. The people behind him gave him great self-confidence, making him delusional to control the truth will be possible, but at this time President Maria is not there. In short, he wants to break the game, and now the only way is to find the owner of this magical bookstore. However, he did not expect that the first sentence he heard after officially meeting the bookstore owner who was regarded as a life-saving straw was, Your Excellency. Andrew fell into silence. His first thought was, It's over, and then my heart chuckles, thoughts are flying, he has the name omnipotent, if he forgot before I came, he can barely make it through. I'm in front of him now, he doesn't know who I am. Open your eyes and speak nonsense. There is only one possibility for I.L. to look like he doesn't know me, and that is that he pretended it was completely on purpose. And there seems to be only one reason for him doing this dash. He did not intend to accept my apology. Andrew's heart suddenly sank to the bottom. Is my guess wrong? It's not that he didn't take me to heart or he didn't plan to care about it because he knew the reason, but he wanted to just stand by and not help at this time just want to see me in this dilemma. Are you struggling in the horror? He couldn't help smiling in his heart and gave birth to a feeling of despair. It's really an evil taste unique to high-ranking people. But no one. An internal electricity flashed across Andrew's mind. He just said welcome but didn't turn me away. What does this mean? It means that he treats me as a customer. Think of it differently. He refused to accept my apology. I don't need to apologize, because Jerome's previous incidents were all my fault. Let me simply talk as a guest who entered the bookstore for the first time. This gives me a chance to come back again. And now, he is still observing... He must want to see if my sincerity is enough, ha ha ha. Fortunately, I have fully investigated before, and I was prepared. The flame of hope reappeared in front of Ander Chang. He turned sad for joy, then suddenly raised his head in a daze. Wait, he doesn't know what I think now, right? 
Isn't that funny? As if running naked to others, Andreo's face was similar to constipation, and he held back for a long time. The more I look at Lin Jia's smile, the more I feel that his heart is completely controlled by the other party. His calculations are as ridiculous as a jumping clown, and his strength is extremely weak. Andrew felt that he was hopelessly stupid. Lin Jia looked at the long silent guest in front of him and slowly raised a question mark. I. This guest didn't want to buy a book in such a strange way. He apologized inexplicably and then stayed where he was struggling for a long time, for a while, bereavement, for a while, as if hysterical. WWRB obviously looks like a dog. Based on Lin Jia's experience, he is probably still a scumbag. How can he feel that he is being abandoned and the one who is spiritually rich? And Lin Jia always felt that this guy just looked at his eyes as if he saw the dean of teaching. And he was the student who was discovered while playing with a mobile phone in class. Wu RBZ is also the kind of surfing on a website beginning with the word P and then being executed in public. Although this metaphor is a bit strange, Lin Jia does feel the subtle feeling of shame. Lin Jia coughed twice and decided to break this embarrassing situation first, politely. Excuse me, what are you talking about? If it has nothing to do with me, then I don't recognize it. Andrew had calmed down at this time, his eyes lit up when he heard the words, and his expression was solemn. This question is a test. The owner of the bookstore really knows his inner thoughts and senses his sincerity. Pisoy has once again given him a chance to apologize and confess. If he can be forgiven successfully, it is natural to get closer to the bookstore owner. The condition for this question is something related to the bookstore owner. And the only malicious direct contact with the owner of the bookstore under Jerome's conspiracy was to let those few. Knowledge only. From scholars. Smash the place. Andrew Chang said carefully, Do you remember who? Do they? Lin Jia was taken aback, remembered for a moment, and then suddenly realized, Those gangsters who broke into my bookstore in the middle of the night and stole things, why dash? Are you their parent? I just apologized for this. He really forgot about those guys. If it was for this, it's really right to apologize for the matter. Is such that. Andrew was relieved, knowing that the first level was over, and continued, I am the vice president of the Truth Society. In theory, I am their boss. Hood's aunt is President Maria, so it's not wrong to say that I am their parent. Lin Jia nodded, indicating that he understood. Seeing Lin Jia nodded, Andrew was so moved that he almost cried. He took a deep minus zero breath and took out a small silver box decorated with enamel from his arms and placed it on the table. This is a gift I prepared for you. I hope you can forgive him for opening the silver box carefully. What is slowly unfolding inside is a small mechanical device that looks like a clock. Wu FB P.S. After another day of busy work, I finally found the artist set by Mr. Lin. The work started in November. I hope it will be completed within this year. The other design for cats, cats, insects, and beasts has been completed. I added some details myself, but it was very rough, don't care, very cute. If you don't see it, please brush it later. Chapter 239, Bell Rotifer Lin Jia looked at the intricate mechanical structure slowly unfolding in the small box in front of him and couldn't help but twitch his mouth. He looked at Andrew, who was nervous, and then at the clock. I couldn't help but complain, backslash what's wrong with you. Give me a bell. Are you here to apologize or to provoke? Of course, he just silently complained in his heart. WRB, after all, the opposite of Anders reported seems to be an Azir-like native English speaker. In the usual context, there is no. Send the bell. Equal. Send the end this homophonic saying. 
In fact, Lin Jie usually uses Azir like English to talk to people. Only when he talks to Ji Zhishu, he will use Chinese. The books given are basically bilingual in Chinese and English anyway. On his bookshelf, you can find any book on the earth. Moreover, with the status of the opponent, there is no reason to behave like that, struggling with humility, and then deliberately engaging in such a show. This time it should just be an oolong, wait, this Andrew is the vice president of the Truth Society. Truth will be an organization of pure scholars. To be able to achieve this position, knowledge should be extremely broad, right? There should be two languages in this world. Will you not know the leader? Lin Jie is a little suspicious, but the other parties it didn't look like Boss Lin, who was in deep thought, temporarily refocused his eyes on the present in front of him. The entire silver box is about 10 centimeters wide, with a length and a height of 20 centimeters. It looks very small, with a layer of blue-green cloisonne enamel on the surface, which is very delicate and delicate. After opening, it is even more unique. The silver complex gears are exposed, and they are occluded with each other. The layered mechanical structure is dizzying. At the top center is a smooth dial made of rubies and laid in a sterling silver frame. The hour and minute hands move separately, and the carved hollow pattern on it is as meticulous as described in Hajo G. These decorations are scattered in this small space, exquisite and gorgeous to the extreme. In terms of craftsmanship, it can be called a supernatural workmanship, coupled with the various gems inlaid, and the structure of the whole body of pure silver, it is very valuable to the naked eye. But what is even more peculiar is the structure under this small clock that looks like a hamster wheel. This is on this wheel-like part, I saw a caterpillar. Lin Jie tactically leaned back. That's right, that's a caterpillar with a white peculiar pattern on a dark background. The bug is slowly creeping forward on the wheel and is driving the wheel with its own strength. It is the rotation of the wheels that causes the gears that are embedded around it to also rotate and finally the entire device rotates and the clock scales little by little. In other words, this small hamster wheel is the device that powers the entire clock. Lin Jie was shocked. WDNMD, you rich people really know how to play. Running on wheels with cats and hamsters is no longer enough for you. You brought all the caterpillars. And while playing with it, you also used this poor little bug as labor dash. You are true capitalist vampires. You don't even spare the labor of bugs. But I have to say, from the perspective of fun, the value of this little bell has rapidly increased after the emergence of this bug wheel. Ordinary precious decorations have become a unique decoration with special creativity and craftsmanship. From Lin Jie's perspective, its value has at least doubled. So it seems, dash. The other party did come with the determination to apologize. This is a bloodshed. Truth will seem to have a special mechanical classification, which is probably a customized product. But you can pick this gift. It's auspicious. Forget it. For the sake of your sincerity, let's treat it as a misunderstanding for the time being. Lin Jie raised his head, looked at Andrew, and said, This gift not bad. I accepted it. His tone was still somewhat reluctant and resistant. After all, as a Chinese, he still cares more about this kind of moral things. If you change the situation, maybe Lin Jia will just turn his face. But this exquisite craftsmanship, coupled with this very interesting insect wheel, is hitting Lin Jia's interest. And Ander Cheng did have a good attitude, so Lin Jia was willing to accept this gift. Backslash her. Huh? That's great. Thank you for your generosity and tolerance. I. No, Hood and the others will definitely be grateful to you. Andrew was relieved and pounded the beating heart finally had a chance to take a break and the nervousness of waiting finally relaxed and he realized that there was already a cold sweat behind him. He just looked at Lin Jie's face that turned black in an instant and was almost frightened to a cardiac arrest. His hands and feet were cold. 
there is nothing more tragic than this. If the bookstore owner is not satisfied with this gift, he is afraid that there will be no way out of this door. What's more important is that he doesn't know what went wrong. Anderzing was at a loss. He studied all the information about bookstores and bookstore owners for a long time and determined that Lin Jie prefers unique things and things related to that forgotten taboo history. For example, the gargoyle is a masterpiece made by Wilde himself, and the magic sword is an artifact that has been passed down for thousands of years. So Andrew thought carefully, and finally carefully picked out the most suitable and valuable gifts that he thought were the most suitable one by one backslash bell worm. Yes, this clock is not actually based on the clock. The real core is the creature that looks like a caterpillar, which powers the movement of the clock. The remaining frame is actually a device used to assist in the control of this bug. It can also maximize its power. The power to control time. Bell worms are four-dimensional transcendent creatures climbing on time. Of course, its body whether it is a bug or not is not certain. The name is just a name. The caterpillar that can be seen now is just a part of the captured projection in the three-dimensional space. And the surrounding device that controls it, this is. Andrew's family has been passed down through generations and is the result of unremitting research. It stands to reason that this is the secret weapon of their family, and Andrew, as the contemporary patriarch, is just the custodian. WRB, but at this critical juncture of life and death, what he has to consider is naturally greater interests. What's more, Andrew understands that after this help request, he is completely tied to this bookstore, and his family is naturally the same. It's better to branch directly from the beginning. In this way, you can also show your sincerity and brush up your favorability. But I don't know what went wrong, so Lin Jie showed dissatisfaction when he saw it in the first eye. Fortunately, he accepted it in the end, although he still seemed to resist. Andrew was exhausted and sighed zero. I really can't figure out why this a gift of great value would make the other party unhappy instead. When he was about to sit down and move in again, a terrifying thought suddenly appeared in his mind. Will not. Controlling time is originally the power of the bookstore owner, so when I see this tiny bug, I feel that this gift is insignificant and even feels unhappy. Chapter 240 can you call him? Andrew thought about it with horror. But the more he thought about it, the more it made sense, because the bell worm was a rare item even for the gods. As a gift, it is definitely valuable enough, at least it is at the same level as the magic sword, and it will never be because of the lack of weight that lends Jia's resistance. This is the true power of the law. Although the power that a bell worm can exert depends entirely on the amount of ether of the caster, and because there are many restrictions, even if it is the destructive level, it can only be used in a small area. Use once inside. Basically, it can only be used to save lives at critical times. If the other party can kill you before you turn the clock, this thing will naturally be useless. Very limited. But this is still an artifact that can change destiny. Otherwise, Andrew's family will not spend a lot of manpower and material resources to build this device and then use this extraordinary item as a family heirloom to keep the patriarch's secret. But Tandichang felt he had to bear it a little bit. That is the bookstore owner in front of him. What kind of power has he mastered and what point has he reached? Because of the blockade of news and intelligence by the secret instrument tower, what the Truth Society can detect so far is just leftovers. Lin Jie's own strength is definitely above the level, but he doesn't know the specific situation, only a general. All-knowing and almighty. But just ask which religion does not mold its own into omniscience and omnipotence. From the perspective of rationality, Andrew does not believe that the power of the bookstore owner will reach this level. The possibility of exaggeration by other customers and the desire to please the secret tower is accounted for. But now he suddenly realized that although it was not to that extent, 
but judging from the attitude of the mystery tower, the bookstore owner must be in control of the high-level domain. And maybe he had made a mistake by hitting the door by mistake, and Enderseo carefully observed the look of the opposite youth, but he didn't see any clues. Lin Jia looked at this increasingly weird truth club vice president with a bit of doubt, knocked on the table, always. Do you have anything other than apologize? Did you forget something? He wondered if there was something wrong with the vice president. Now the other party behaves like someone with Alzheimer's disease he has seen before. Always look at other people's faces, and from time to time you have to judge one. Next, remember if there is any problem with I too, and try to remember the other person's appearance and what you are doing now. And Dick Hang was afraid to relax and his mood became tense again. This is, this is a general announcement. Since the bookstore owner is dissatisfied with the gift just now, he naturally needs to increase his bargaining chip. This is a hint to remind him he should send the greatest sincerity quickly. Buy a book. I want to buy a book. Andrew quickly said. I have long heard of you and your bookstore name. As a member of the Truth Society, a scholar who has dedicated my life to learning, I am full of awe and thirst for knowledge, so I really want to get your books. For this, I can give all the costs. He is full of sincerity now, and he hasn't let his lips fall, trying to say good things, hoping that he can become a guest of the bookstore. The owner of the bookstore will not refuse someone who comes to ask for help, but only if you have to buy his book. At the same time, only by getting a book can you get the power you want. Lin Jia froze for a moment, then instantly showed a business smile, the original resistance and unhappiness disappeared, and the Sichuan opera changed face quickly. His smile is like a spring breeze. Oh. It turns out that I want to buy a book, so you said it earlier. When you come to buy a book, you can buy a book. What kind of gift should you bring? It's so polite. Sit, sit down. Lin Jie smiled and stretched out his hand to make a pleased gesture and pointed to the high stool in front of the counter. Following this ups and downs like a roller coaster like great grief and joy, he finally got the approval of the bookstore owner and was qualified to buy books. Whether he can eliminate the mistakes he made before depends on his performance this time. Lin Jia put the bellworms box aside, beckoned to call Prima over, and said, backslash go and pour a cup of tea. Prima's injury is actually almost healed, and there is no problem in moving around freely. Hearing Boss Lin's order, naturally Pity and Pity and came to help. Andrew noticed the existence of this girl from the very beginning, but although he knew about Margaret's sister, he didn't know her no. Wait, why did Margaret's sister appear here? From the beginning, the tense spirit relaxed, and finally, I have time to think about this problem. Margaret was attacked and her whereabouts are still unknown, but her sister appeared in the bookstore strangely. At this time, Lin Jia took the wrong cup handed over by Prima and pushed it to Andrew, suddenly saying, Do you know who Prima's uncle is? Backslash he suddenly reacted, The senior leaders of the Truth Society are already in front of him, so it's better to just ask for the news. Andrew was shocked. Jerome. So that's it. He understood the bookstore owner's knowing question. He looked at Prima and saw her pale face. She must have been injured. That is to say, Jerome is indeed a ghost, and he is Shamma. The group of people that Greta shot. Jerome not only shot Margaret, but also tried to kill Prima. But Prima happened to come to the bookstore for help. In other words, their enemy is the same person. Lin Jiedao. Looks like you know that Andy smiled. Needless to say, I have never noticed that he turned out to be a ghost. This is my stupidity and husband's position. I have made many mistakes, but now I have changed my previous mistakes and want to make mistakes. It seemed that he didn't need to speak. The vice president in front of him already knew about Jerome's crimes. And this Jerome has done more than one bad thing. Lin Jia nodded. Very good. I also want to talk to him about something. Can you call him over? Andrew was taken aback. 
You. What do you want him for? Lin Jie smiled calmly and lifted it. Lifting his chin, motioning him to look at the door, Andrew turned his head and saw a hole in the door that was obviously patched. I want to talk to him about the compensation for my door. Andrew naturally nodded his head immediately. The ecstasy in his heart came sooner rather than coincidentally, fearing that Jerome hit the gun and gave him a chance to be removed from the bookstore's blacklist. Lin Jia said with satisfaction backslash, then I will wait for your good news. By the way, what kind of books do you want to buy? I can recommend a few for you. For example, this alchemy soil is very personal. Like.